Now, many of us are guilty of not wearing the same thing more than once. You want to know why? Because we posted it on social media. We got to get over it. Here to break that rule and share how brides can wear the same dress to three different wedding events is Julia Grieve, the one and only. <laughs> if anyone's going to do it, you're going to do it. You are the queen of this, Jules. Um, you're really, really good when it comes to re-wearing and reimagining, really, your wardrobe. Absolutely. I think it's something that you have to... You know, like, don't think of it as restraint, right? Yeah. Like, can I wear? Think of something as, like, an improvisation. Have mm. fun. Turn it backwards, upside down, sideways, yeah. whatever you can do with it. Yes. But, Tracy, what really gets me the most is what we call event dressing, right? right? I've got an event. Oh, my God, I can't wear that dress. I wore it to the last event. Mm. People are going to notice it. Mm -hmm. Like, no. First of all, you don't even have to buy the dress. You could rent it. Yes. Exactly. And so today, I have rented one dress, uh -huh. and I have styled it three different ways that you can wear to three major events during your engagement, and no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. No one's They're gonna never know. gonna know. They're never How are they know. gonna know? They're never gonna know. No. Ever. Julia never. is a genius. <laughs> They're not gonna know. Okay. So let's start, well, let's first show them the dress. Okay, perfect. We need to see what we're starting with. So, you see, beautiful dress. Uh, yellow, nice, vibrant color. You can do a lot of things with this dress. What do you need to be looking for in a dress that you're going to be able to repurpose three different ways? Okay, so this is a great point. One of the things, because not everything will always work, right? Yeah. So you want to look for a dress or a piece that has really flowy fabric. That's okay. a key part. Yeah. Because you want to be able to put it under things, in things, up, yes. uh, like you want to be able to move it around. Yeah. So if it's too structured, it won't work as well. Right. Trust me, I could still make it happen, but it won't <laughs> actually work as well. Okay. The other thing is look at original design details okay. like does mm -hmm. it have an asymmetrical hem which mm -hmm. this dress has and I love it mm -hmm. because then you can sort of play with the hemline and change it right. so original details are really key like that could it be worn backwards uh, adjustable straps yeah. all key things to look for so you can move it around and have fun with it Okay, so let's go to event number one, uh, which is the bridal shower. Right? Right? Your bridal shower, please. Okay. It's a good day. It's the best day. You're not Honestly, doing any of the work. Like, coming from somebody who's been married for 21 years, I'm going to tell you, your bridal shower is your favorite day. Yes. Because it's like you're the princess. Yes. There's no stress. It's no. just like your girlies, your besties, your mama, your aunts. Like, yes. it's all so fun. And you just show up. Oh, that's all you do. Really? Which you is do. my favorite kind of party. Perfect. Just but this up. is the time where you get to be the princess. Yes. So what I do was I paired the dress with the gorgeous tulle pink skirt nice. to play on those princess vibes. This is an Eliza Faulkner skirt. Beautiful. Key point about the skirt is that it is now elastic waistband, so ah. it can hide the dress really lovely. Yeah. We put the belt on it so it really finishes it off as a top. Played with the jacket, a little boho vibe. Love Pulling this. the yellow from the dress slash top. Very nice. You right? A little bit of yellow, a little bit of pink, and it all ties together, and she's a princess. She's perfect. She's having a grand old day. <laughs> okay, so moving right along, we have got to the rehearsal dinner. Right? So okay. this is a lot of fun. You're seeing all the people that are close to you. Right? This is your pregame, man. It's this your is pre -game. the pregame. This is pre -game. such a great date. So what I wanted to do here was, this may be the last day that you walk into a room, only person wearing white. Right. Right? So let's do it. So Take I paired advantage. it with a white pantsuit. Mm -hmm. So I went with a vintage vibe of the blazer. Now the detail in the blazer, I love how it plays off of the chiffon of the dress slash yeah. top. Mm -hmm. So what we did with the top is we pulled up the dress so that it had you'll really play with that original hemline there yeah. and then paired it with the silk pants so it's very very polished mm -hmm. but really fun and the top on its own is that peplum look to it now love it which is a key element of what the dress looked like very cute and the clutch right a bra super cute <laughs> so, so no cute. one is confused about who you, you are. are no I am way let's advertise that for as long as right? you can baby as long as you can right right okay last thing uh let's go to the honeymoon right are you not packing this dress on your honeymoon you of course to. you are you, you wore it at your bridal shower yes. you wore it the night before and now you're gonna wear it as your first dinner as a missus yeah so it's such a great dress nice. travels easy that lightweight as well we just styled it quickly here with a shirt over top of it the bag the hat with it but don't get me wrong you can wear this twice on your honeymoon please oh totally Put a little strappy sandal with it ditch the shirt yes. you've got a sexy sexy little dress so it you know tracy honestly it is fun to do this, and once you embrace in the idea of wearing your clothes so many more times, yeah. you actually fall more in love with your wardrobe.
You do, and I mean, what we are all supposed to be doing, and I'm trying to school myself into this, is buying quality pieces that we want to wear a million times. Exactly. Stuff that feels good on our body, that is like shaped for our body, that every time you put it on, you feel amazing in it, and you want to pull it out a couple of times a week. Yes. So this dress was actually a rental. Yes. Right, from yes. Fitzroy yes. Uh, Rentals, which it's is amazing. But I like that you say the creativity in fashion is that you should be rewearing. That's it. That's We've forgotten art. that. Creativity is not going and doing a haul no. with a bunch of fast fashion. No, Creativity is reusing your pieces. Exactly. So I'm saying that for you and for me, everyone. Trust me. I'm, <laughs> I'm right with you with the fast fashion, and I'm sorry. That was a great segment. Now, bridal suits have definitely been a trend. And I love a bridal suit over the past few years. And a bespoke tailored suit can reflect the personalities and the love story of two people on their wedding journey. Our very own camera person, Julia, and her partner, Shannon, went on one such journey at Got Style. Let's take a look. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Natasha. Julia. Julia. Shannon. Nice to meet you both. All right, let's get started. We'll head awesome. up upstairs. So the proposal began with me asking Julia's father for permission, which actually went down at their family cottage in the Quartha Lakes, where he gave me permission to propose. And a couple months later, um, it was just me and Julia up at the cottage, and as we would every evening, we went out for an evening fish. And I had a birch box made with our initials on it, and a lure that said, Julia, will you marry me? I turned around, and all you see is the sunset, and then... Shannon, and it was on one knee already. I turned around and, I mean, best day of my life. So when it comes to solid colors, this is probably my favorite collection because you can see there's like so many. Like that was really cool. And because you're looking for that cooler green. We've seen certain references we liked and then we came across Got Style and just Natasha, just the, her suit and her style, the way she fits women specifically, is just what we, that's what we want. That was our goal and it can be more of a perfect fit. Just choosing your, your suits in general can be an overwhelming, really exciting moment. So there's so many emotions and everybody's excited, you know, and then all these color swatches come onto the table and everybody kind of, it's a free for all it feels like. So, I mean, it could be a little overwhelming, but um, I'm glad they they were here to, you know. Um, yeah, having our moms and my sister here because they are our regular go-to when it comes to style before we go to an event for making sure is this outfit okay so having he them here was very important to us well in this case with julia and shannon we they wanted suits and they wanted that androgynous look but they still have curvy bodies and so it's a matter of you can't just go get a suit off the rack where the shoulders might be too big it might be too boxy so we need to actually make sure it's custom so it fits all of their body parts in the most flattering way but also in a way that fits how they want to project so nothing is overtly you know on display it could be more subtle and uh, brought down so it's just really important you can't find that off the rack and it's a wedding it's an occasion make it very special the fact that I got to create this opportunity for both Julia and Shannon is truly something special to be part of their special day and make them feel like their most authentic self. And that's what a custom suit can do for someone. Now that God Style has everything taken care of for us, I can't wait to have our actual suits mm -hmm. and it'll be at the wedding and I just can't wait for our final looks and to see Julia in her suit that Natasha is designed for her because I know that even though she's beautiful with the suit, she'll be even more beautiful. Shannon. <laughs> <laughs>